Hi guys, it's Baz and Paul as per usual. Welcome to Run Vegan Run number three with myself and the Hench Herbivore. Hello. Vegan gains. Gains. <laughs> so today we're gonna make it quite short and sweet. I haven't been running as you know, unfortunately, because my knee is still healing. Well, I can't feel it anymore, so hopefully it's on the right track. You know, I didn't I do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so we promised last week, we said we're gonna do something on stretching today. So Paul has used his gray matter to come up with about four or five stretches to start mm -hmm. us off with. So what you do before you go running and about the same number of after. Yeah. yeah? Shall we get into it? Let's do it. Stretch number one. Pike stretch, which is for the calf muscles. Okay, so you're trying to force your heel into the floor. It's a dynamic stretch, so we're moving. As you find it easier, you can walk out a little ways. Okay, which will add to the stretch. Depending on how tight you are, I recommend sort of 10 to 30 of those. Stretch number two. Okay, stretch for the hips, leaning on something. Keep the knee bent. Okay, and we're just swinging backwards and forwards. Obviously, depending on your own flexibility, Depends which height you'd be at. Depending on how tight you are on a given day, I'd do maybe 10, 20 of those. Stretch number three. Leg swings for the hamstrings muscles. In general, you could do these walking forwards. As I've strained my right leg, you're just getting left legs today. And again, 10 to 20 reps would suffice. Stretch number four. Butt kicks, which are for the quadriceps muscles. 10 to 20 reps. Stretch number five. Walking lunges with hip and knee flexion, which is be for the hip flexors and the glutes. I'd do about 20 reps of that. So that was really cool, dude. Thank you for showing us those. My pleasure. And then you spoke about sort of, you know, you do those stretches, then you go, uh, you do whatever you need to do. And then you spoke about, well, you, you say So that, yeah, post-workout post or post-running, your muscles are going to be kind of contracted, you know, tight because you've been working them. So now static stretches are more beneficial to basically re-lengthen the the muscle and aid a, a quick recovery. I was gonna say, and that helps with, with getting you back on track after. Mm -hmm. isn't it? Exactly. One thing I actually wanna mention, and, and you drew my attention to this, is that before I went vegan, this is obviously years ago now, and I used to go for a run because I've been running for a long time. I used to get muscle aches at about the second day. It was never the day after, it was like two days after, and mm -hmm. I don't really get them anymore. And maybe yeah, yeah, that's yeah. because I stretch better, but I think it has something to I do with I think the, um, the diet is a lot more alkaline, and that has a huge impact on, yeah. on that kind of thing. Because you said that to me, before that. You, you recover better and stuff like that yeah 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 yeah, yeah. alkaline yeah. for the wind so basically you know all the <laughs> alkaline all the, for the wind all the, all the uh, animal products pretty much are all acidifying and you know most vegan products are alkalizing yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. And, and i believe office geology is herbivorous and so that's what we eat it's that simple it is that simple guys shall we show them the other few stretches let's, let's do, it. do it stretch number one static quadriceps stretch knees together Pulling your heel to your butt and try and kind of arch yourself back a little bit. You could also do this laying down to try and accentuate the stretch a little bit. I would hold that for 30 seconds to a minute on each leg. Stretch number two, hamstring stretch. I would hold that for 30 to 60 seconds on both sides. Stretch number three, warrior pose, which is a stretch for the hip flexors. Okay, so your knee doesn't want to go forwards with your toes. You want to fire the glute on the side where your leg is on the floor. So you get a nice stretch through the hip flexor there. If you need to add to the stretch, you can kind of reach up and twist. 30 to 60 seconds each side. Stretch number four, calf stretch. Typically I do this off the edge of a curb or something like that. So I'm stretching my heel to the floor with the ball of the foot on the block. We don't have anything like that available, so we'll do it against a solid object. Okay, so pushing into the solid object. Again, push your heel into the floor, straighten your back leg. Okay, so you're getting a stretch that way. You could also have your leg bent, kind of stretching down, which will get the soleus, which is a more of a deep-seated muscle underneath the, underneath the main gastrocnemius. We would hold that for 30 to 60 seconds each side. Stretch number five. Adductor stretch. Sitting on the floor, feet together. Okay, pull your feet in, pushing your knees down. If that's too easy for you, you can also stretch your head forwards. I would hold up for 30 to 60 seconds. <laughs> So yeah, that was uh, that was really good. I'm still going. 
No, thank you so much for doing that, dude. My pleasure. I'm obviously gonna start using those. I have been scratching, but probably not with any sense behind it. <laughs> but I'm gonna do that now, dude, and I'll let you know how that goes. Is there anything you wanna say to our viewers at the screens at home? Go vegan. Go vegan. Or you didn't get it. <laughs> no worries. Bye. See you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back soon. Bye. Good morrow. When I used to go for a run, ever, and I used to stretch as well. Baz, I'm going to have to stop you there. Watch out, there's a, an ant, and I don't want you to squash it. I think it's a little spider. Oh, a little spider. We found rabbits. Yay. Rabbits. Look at them. Nice. Oh, there's baby rabbits. Oh, they're little baby rabbits. Oh, they're too scared of us. Oh.